Americans mock Prince Harry as he dubs suits more popular than Friends and TV parody. Prince Harry has been mocked in a new U.S. parody where he is seen to believe that his wife's television series Suits is more popular than Friends. The Prince is a new HBO series by Gary Jane Eddy the writer of Family Guy, and it takes an irrelevant look at the British monarchy. It centers around a fictional version of Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge's son, Prince George. The new satire of the royal family is causing considerable controversy on both sides of the Atlantic. For instance, political rights activist Dr. Sholomo Shagbimimu tweeted, Children are off-limits. It's uncalled for and goes against our collective sense of responsibility to make fun of children. We don't need a misshapen fabricated perspective of a caricature of an 80-year-old to satirize royal family. However, the parody of the House of Windsor saves most of its mockery for Prince Harry who appears to be unable to function in everyday life outside the walls of the palace. Now, major U.S. television critic Michael Starr has covered the new series for the New York Post and stated that there are some clever lines in it. He describes how Prince Harry's character said, Suits is more popular in the States than even Friends, you told us. Then the satirized version of his wife Meghan Markle replied, I oversold that one a little bit at the time. Mr. Starr added, most of the topical references are, well, topical. He described the fictional Prince George character as saying, Demi Lovato is non-binary. Good for them. The animated parody shows the Prince George character glued to his cell phone and shouting out Free Britney. However, Mr. Starr criticizes some of the content of the new animated parody by the creators of Family Guy. He singles out an incident where Queen Elizabeth calls someone a tosser. He complains that this just doesn't hit the mark. Mr. Starr added, it all feels a bit forced in that trying to be outrageous sort of way. Maybe it's just too difficult to parody a family that's already a caricature of itself. At the end of his critical review of the new HBO series he wrote, sometimes truth is weirder than animated fiction. At the top of every episode of the HBO parody is a reminder that all persons and events in this show are entirely fictional. of his critical review of the new HBO series he wrote, Sometimes truth is weirder than animated fiction. At the top of every episode of the HBO parody is a reminder that all persons and events in this show are entirely fictional.